time to show you my trash. <laughs> it's time for some September empties. And I have them, of course, in my cute little 31 bin. Um, I've talked about this a bajillion times before, so I won't go into it again. But it's from 31. But I actually don't think they sell this exact thing anymore. I'm not really sure. At any rate, um, I have a kind of a bunch of things in here and not a lot all at the same time. So I'm just going to pull at random and we will go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have in I'll try to be not too random. <laughs> the first thing that I have in here, and I'm almost finished with the shampoo, but it, not quite. I am like the crazy person that goes through can, conditioner faster than shampoo. I'm not sure why, but I do. So this is the from Matrix. It's Matrix. <laughs> Matrix. It's the Biolage Fiber Strong. I really like this. Um, you know, sneak peek. I like the shampoo a lot. I will absolutely repurchase this. This has no parabens in it, which is good. It does. I believe they, there are sulfates in it, though, but not in this, but in the shampoo. Anyway, are there? Yeah, I, no sulfates in a conditioner. I don't. Are there ever sulfates in a conditioner? I'm so not a hair genius. Anyway, um, I really like this. It's a great conditioner. It does enough conditioning without making your hair feel weighed down. I really like this. Some conditioners can be tricky if I'm going to keep my hair curly, my natural curl in it, where it just makes it have no life at all, but this isn't one of those yet it conditioned. So this is a really, really good one. Absolutely will repurchase that. All right, so let's talk about some skincare things. The first thing I want to show you is that I have finally finished up this. I, I should have cleaned this because, you know, I don't like things to be messy. But this has been around a long time. <laughs> this is my ginormous size of the Philosophy Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. I love this. I have used it forever. I've talked about it pretty much since I have been on YouTube. Um, I am going to, I still have a little or a smaller size that I'm working through that I was actually refilling. Um, I am going to go away from this for a little while and try to work with some other things and try some other things. But... I do really like this. So, and I do still recommend it. I just, I just need something different. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is uh, the Refreshing Cleanser from Beauty RX. I love this. This is the second one that I have been through. I really do like this. However, I have switched to a different cleanser and there is a skincare video coming up here in the next couple of weeks. I can't remember exactly what, which day I have it scheduled for, but I'll be filming it soon. I'm um, talking about a few new products that I've been using and I actually have have referenced already that I've been using the Camp Cosmetics Milk Cleanser, which I really like, um, and I'm going to be using that morning and night. I usually use a different one morning and night, but I, I just like that one so much. But anyway, this is a really nice one. This doesn't, it's the refreshing cleanser. It doesn't leave your skin feeling, you know, that, oh, I've got to get moisture on my skin kind of feeling. It doesn't do that at all. If if I use a cleanser like that, it's I don't ever use it again. Right? If I finish it, I don't repurchase it because I can't stand that. My skin is dry enough. I don't need my cleanser to dry it out anymore. This, however, did not do that. It's very nice. Ooh, I'm wordy today. Okay, <clears throat> while we're talking about skincare, I will show you. I actually, and I'll talk about it in my skincare video, but I haven't been doing as many paper masks, but I have been, I've been using something else here and there. So I just, just want to show you. This is by Biomer. Biomiracle, I used the um, Hydration and Sensitive Skin Collagen Mask. This one was very, very nice. Um, this had a good fit to your face, if I remember right. These, some of these might have been from before. And then the Bamboo Spa Spa Treatment Face Mask. I've shown these before. I find this is what the package looks like. And if you, I find these at TJ Maxx. Both of those I found at TJ Maxx. And this is, I like this, I like this brand, the Bamboo Spa, that's a nice one. And this one was the Bomb Diggity. And this was a gift to me from Tammy. Um, this is the Coconut Oil Face Mask Spa Relaxus. This one, it really was kind of milky and, oh gosh, I could feel my skin just getting more hydrated. And I'm just trying to see what it says on here. It says it offers so softening <laughs> softening and soothing benefits to the skin and leaves your skin supple and elastic. I loved how my skin felt after this. I, if I could do one of these every day, I would. This was amazing. Thank you, Tammy. Amazing. All right. Please don't kick me off YouTube. I don't like this. It, I have tried and for a while I thought I was liking it. This is the Studio 35 Alpha Hydroxy Face Cream. I will show you that I did use I did use a good amount of it. 
I tried it without having a serum. I tried it putting on before my serum. I tried everything I could to make this be magical for me. And I, it just it just isn't. It just isn't. So <clears throat> not everybody's skin is the same. And I know that it works for a lot of people that I love and respect. But it just doesn't work for me. Um, use up another package of cotton clouds, which is what I use, versus the Shiseido cotton. Okay, this is another thing I feel like I'm going to get kicked off YouTube for. This is the Avon eye makeup remover. I, I just think that I, I've said this before, I think that I have a little bit more sensitive eyes. My eyes didn't like this at all. I did use it up. I do have one more of these actually that was a sweet gift that I will work, you know, I will work my way through. But I take my contacts out. So let me just preface this with that. I take my contacts out before I take off my eye makeup. And I, when I use this, I get like a cloud over my eyes for like 10 minutes. I, I just don't know. I don't understand. It doesn't irritate them and make them red, but it's just... It's not a good fit for me. And the last thing that I have, and this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler because this is the, I referenced the fact that I had finished up an, a Bobbi Brown eye cream. I have one more that I'm using at night. This is the one that I've been using in the morning for, I don't even know how long now, two months, maybe something like that. Um, this is the Camp Cosmetics Eye Tonic. You guys, this is really good. And it is, I think, maybe a couple dollars less, actually, maybe more. I think it's 45 or the Bobbi Brown is up to 50 now. Um, this is really good. I will talk more about this in my skincare video, but it hydrates, it plumps up, so fine lines just dis disappear. It's, oh, it's good stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, let's time. Well, I think I only have one hair thing in here. Right? Yeah, so only have one hair thing. This is the Living Proof PhD Perfect Hair Day. Absolutely, absolutely love this. I have one other hair product that I'm working through that I was like, I maybe have two more uses in it, but it wasn't quite done, so I couldn't show, I couldn't show it. Um, but I, I would repurchase this. Actually, a subscriber of mine just had this and it wasn't working for her, so she sent it to me, so that's awesome. Thank you, Wendy. Um, but I love that. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's it. I can put this in my hair, a little oil, and this in my hair, and I really don't need anything else. I'm trying to work through a lot of my other backup stash that I have of hair products, and I haven't purchased anything in a long time. Some stuff has come in, like Allure Beauty Boxes, and I'm working through that or giving it anyway. Not what the point of the video is. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, a couple of body care things. I finished up another Bath & Body Works Cashmere Glow Triple Cream, Triple Moisture Body Cream. I really like this. I've said before, I like the triple um, moisture ones much better than the ones in the other kind of container. Really like those. And I also finished up two body butters that I had been working on. These were gifts as well. The Cora's Body Butter in Jasmine. Loved this scent. Really, really nice scent. I absolutely loved that. And then this is the one in Apple Blossom. I like this one. It wasn't as awesome as the Jasmine one, but this was like... And these are actually body butters. You, the... What's interesting is the apple blossom, I had to work a little bit harder to get this into my skin than I did the jasmine one. I'm not sure why that is, but they are very moisturizing and the scent doesn't linger forever and ever and ever, which I like. I've said that before. I don't. Sometimes I just don't want to smell that same smell all day long because I want to smell whatever perfume I put on top. Anyway. Um, I have another one of these. I've said it before, I'll say it again. The foaming soaps from Bath & Body Works are the way to go. I still have a few of these in the old packaging. I th they, they have new packaging now. I don't even think I've purchased any in the new packaging yet. At any rate, this is the one in Aqua Blossom. I love this for summer, spring and summer. So if you, I don't, I cannot keep up with what's, what's limited edition with them and what's not. But if you happen to see that scent... It's a great one for spring and summer. It's very fresh and clean, and I had it in, was that in our, it was in our bathroom, I think, but it, I would put it in the guest bathroom, too, because it's a nice kind of unisex. I used up another hands-down best hand cream in the whole wide world if you have super dry hands like I do. This is the Neutrogena, um, yeah, it's just the Neutrogena hand cream. There's nothing... I, there's no other name to it. I cut this open, by the way, in case everybody's curious, to get as much out of it as I can. I know that I can do that with these, but I just choose not to. Uh, okay, a couple makeup things. Actually, the last things are makeup things. The Unique Lash System. Thank you, no. I did a, re I did a Save or Splurge video where I talked about that. I will list it below if you want to check it out. Not for me. Not for me at all. Um... I'm putting in here, and then I'll back to Mac it. This is um, Call My Bluff. 
lipstick. Mm -mm. I pulled it out the other day, put it on. I was like, whoo, buddy, time for that to go. I also talked about, I did a review. I cannot remember if I if I said had this in my empties last month or not, but I did a review on this Bare Minerals 5-in-1. Um, this is just, I'm not going to use it anymore. It's not sanitary because I have, you know, put the dough applicator on my eyeballs and back in here, so garbage. And the last thing is something that I... I use this every day. I mean, it's it's not surprising to me that I figured it, but how many of you could say you used up a paint pot? <laughs> this is Max Paint Pot in Paint Relay, and I've been using something else this month because I, I ordered a new one of these, but it's not here yet. Um, actually, a friend ordered it for me, and um, so I've been using something else, which I'm going to talk about in my favorites video, just because it's, I'm not like blown out, out of the water by it. Okay, not the point of the video. I really love painting with a paint pot. I will repurchase it. I have a new one on the way to me. So, <laughs> whoo, buddy. I am just happy and excited today, and, and what can I say? All right, so those are my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you're curious what's on my face today, I will tell you. So, first of all, for the um, same foundation as I've been using. Nothing nothing new there. I'm working, working my way through it. For blush today, I have a combination of... Camp Cosmetics uninhibited, uninhibited and Nouveau. So just a little combo there. It's really one of my favorite combos of the month. And if you are interested in what's on my eyes, it is my palette. I'm so excited. So this is the collaboration palette that I'm doing with Camp Cosmetics. It's the KGB Holiday 2014 palette. And those are the shades. I'm going to, let me just kind of... I, Lighting has been a little bit iffy lately, so we'll just kind of move it around a little bit. But So I'm really, really excited about this. I have Instagrammed it, and, um, the, you know, you guys are so awesome and so supportive. And I've heard nothing but, you know, positive feedback on this. If you're interested in pre-ordering this, you certainly can do that. Um, you can email clientcare at campcosmetics.com, and um, he will get you on the list. So I'll leave that below if that's something that you're interested in. But... I am just super excited. This just screams Kristen. And um, yeah. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.